welcome um, to today's stream. Canon R5C is here, and I'm super excited to finally get this camera out. I haven't live streamed in a while, so I'm making sure that I am on and live, and it looks like I am. So what are the exciting features of the Canon R5C? Now, first of all, it's early in the morning. I woke up, I checked my phone, and I'm like, oh my gosh, people have it in their hands. People have tested it. People are talking about it. Canon R5C announced, and I guess some YouTubers got their early hands on it. I only saw a couple of videos on the R5C, so I really have a lot of the details. And there's one that I really didn't get to see in those early videos. And I know Ken is supposed to have a press conference in just a couple of minutes. But let me kind of get some of those features out of the way. And we've been all talking about them with like spoilers or with uh, the leaks in previous videos that I've talked about here on my channel. And, you know, it's pretty much all of them were, were pretty much correct. So um, Canon R5C, what is it feature? Oops, I dropped something. Um, Canon R5C, uh, it's my volume control, I had to reach for that. So Canon R5C features uh, so many more advantages than the R5, it's ridiculous. Now, spoiler alert if you want to wait for the Canon announcement, but that's like five minutes. So here we go. So it's got 8K at 30, 8K at 60p full frame, but with uh, 60 frames per second that you can record in RAW, you, you need like an external power source. And that's kind of one of the downsides. It's It's got to take that full, it's going to use a full wattage of the camera. So you might actually have to get a battery grip or use like an external battery source for the uh, Canon R5C, just like I'm using for my 5D Mark IV right now to do this live stream. So that's one of the, the interesting features, but it's still possible and you can record all of that in RAW and the different compression modes in RAW, like the fat RAW, light RAW, and then an even lighter RAW, which is pretty cool. It's got the hot shoe uh, mount that you can connect the, like the wireless, like the Tascam, like wireless um, microphone system. So you could just plug it in there, it could communicate and you can have like XLR audio, which is pretty awesome. You've got the same ports on the side as you do on the R5. Now, the question is, is it a full-size HDMI? And I do not believe so. It's going to use the micro HDMI as well. One of the interesting features that I absolutely love about the Canon R5C is that on the top where this switch is on the R5, you'll have a video and stills mode switch. So no more having to go through a couple of menus, like having to press mode and then uh, the info button to switch from photo to video and back. You can just hit the classic switch that'll be on the top of the R5C and it'll switch between um, video and photos. And the stills capabilities are pretty much the same as you get on the Canon R5, which is awesome. But you also get the um, ability in video mode to do all of those features. It supports XFAVC, MP4, and of course, raw video codecs. And you can record proxy uh, raw video, proxy proxy video when you're recording raw formats, of course, as well, um, which you can do with the R5 as well. But the fact that you actually get cinema quality features, waveforms, uh, vector scopes, um, you know, false color, I believe false color actually, but I wasn't re really sure. But it is a fully featured cinema camera. It's like almost more than the um, C70 can do because it's a fully featured cinema camera, uh, camera with 8K. It's got 4K 120. Um, all these features are really interesting. The one thing that you also need to know about the 8K when recording the 60P is that um, it limits what you can do with your lens. So you you'd have to manually focus on your Canon R5C when recording AK60. It's kind of a bummer, you know, um, but it's 8K at 60 frames per second, so it's still pretty um, powerful. Um, the screen, that, from what I've seen, the screen is, you know, it, for, for a cinema camera, it is kind of small when uh, compared to something 
bigger and more useful with different cinema cameras. The body's thicker because it's got that fan, so it's pretty cool too. Now, in this live stream, I also wanted to check if we can actually see the Canon conference. So I'm pulling it up because it's literally like a couple minutes a couple minutes away from being announced and I've got I've you can hear my computer because I'm actually trying to search for the um, C70 announcement and then we, we can watch it together and then get a reaction but one thing before the announcement is the price the price is actually um, $4,500 when I heard about that price I'm like oh my gosh they got it right they got it exactly what it should have been forty five hundred dollars um it, it, the estimates were were north of five thousand dollars that most of us have heard about but forty five hundred dollars for the canon r5c it, it almost kind of throws the canon r5 controversy out the window for the most part when it comes to like overheating and all the issues that the r5 had because the r5c is just pretty much what it really needed which was r5 with a fan so you get no overheating and then they threw in that uh, ability to record 8k 60 frames per second and you don't need to pay for something like the nikon z9 at its price just to get 8k at 60 frames per second in raw and it's unlimited recording no more recording limits so this is so good and nice to have and i am not seeing canon's press conference at all and it's 7 a.m i was checking on zoom so let me see if i can pull it up or if someone in the chat knows um where the pr press conference is because it wasn't on YouTube, but it, it it already is um probably on their website. Apologize for this, but I'm not seeing any any announcement as I'm pulling up the websites right now as we speak. It just says announced January 19th at 2022, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then nothing from the Canon USA site, actually. We'll be back again with another and I'm just pulling up like their, their different... Uh, see, like I'm just kind of browsing around here. And I'm not seeing anything. So again, if the chat you can see whether it's it's on or live, then uh, then you can let me know whether it's uh it's up. But even just checking around, see this this guy over here. This was the first video I saw, R5C. But uh, looks like Jared Poland a minute ago pulled up his video on the Canon R5C. And I guess this is me on live now. You've got all the videos going up for the Canon R5C. Here it is actually, Canon Europe. All right, let's check this out. Without sacrificing image quality, but also be quick to adapt to the ever-changing environments. Hybrid working requires a hybrid solution that is ready for anything. So with this in mind, I'm excited to introduce to you a new addition to the Cinema EOS family the Canon EOS R5C. Looks like I found it, John. Canon Europe had it. The Canon EOS R5C is a professional hybrid cinema camera designed for solar operators that require a one-stop solution for their production needs. It combines the professional filmmaking features expected from a cinema EOS camera with the powerful photographic capability This is all pretty EOS interesting. System. Let me turn on the my... The Canon EOS R5C sits alongside the EOS R5 turning it on to right offer there. two incredibly powerful hybrid solutions. The EOS R5 is for hybrid shooters that primarily capture photos and require high quality video capabilities. And the EOS R5C is for hybrid shooters that primarily shoot video content and require a powerful large format camera for long duration filmmaking 
with outstanding photo capabilities. Mounted on a tripod, gimbal or drone, the Canon EOS R5C allows you to shoot whatever you want, however you want, and should be at the heart of your next production. Whether you're shooting weddings, music, virtual reality, or a cinematic travel documentary, the Canon EOS R5C is ready for anything. The EOS R5C allows you to capture incredible detail with low noise, thanks to a full-frame CMOS sensor that delivers 8K DCI RAW video recording in 12-bit up to 30 frames per second. Through using an external power supply, filmmakers can also capture 8K DCI RAW up to 60 frames per second. Look at that, all of those. There are three 12-bit RAW recording options available, as well as Canon's reliable 10-bit XF AVC or MP4 formats, providing extensive workflow flexibility for your production needs. Having all those recording features like in the, the camera, like the, the, the uh, different formats is so useful and was necessary. The camera is even capable of capturing 4K up to 120 frames per second for immersive slow motion with stunning detail. While filming in 4K 120 frames per second, you are able to record audio and use our outstanding dual pixel autofocus technology to ensure each frame remains sharp. Users can take advantage of the outstanding dual pixel CMOS autofocus and EOS ITR AFX technology offering you the very best subject tracking. The full-frame sensor and Digic X processor work in unison to provide cutting-edge photography performance with exceptional clarity, resulting in incredible 45 megapixel images with low noise and wide dynamic range. This also includes burst speeds up to there, 20 frames. There's that switch that makes it really cool. The EOS R5C incorporates many of the same photo features as found in the EOS R5. So whether you're capturing portraits, tracking animals or birds in flight, you can ensure your images are perfectly in focus. The familiar design and ergonomics of the EOS R5 and R6 have proven extremely popular among hybrid shooters. This design has evolved to cater for professional video creation with long duration recording and an expanded interface for more connectivity. The EOS R5C is our smallest and lightest cinema EOS camera. And despite being so small, the camera features 13 user assignable buttons, a new multifunction accessory shoe as seen in the EOS R3 and XF605, a dedicated timecode interface, a time code, yes. touchscreen, and a high-resolution OLED viewfinder. The EOS R5C also implements an active cooling system that efficiently dissipates heat, making long-duration 8K recording possible. Featuring Canon's revolutionary no RF, 30, the EOS r No 30-minute time limits either, which is good. ...edge RF lenses, but also the extensive range of EF mount cinema and photo lenses via a range of our EF to EOS R mount adapters. No internal ND filters either. The camera is not mounted on a tripod, gimbal or a drone. Advanced 5-axis electronic image stabilization is available to achieve smooth and stable handheld footage. As proven in our existing cinema EOS cameras, such as the EOS C500 Mark II, C300 Mark III and C70, this technology seamlessly works alongside both stabilized and non-stabilized lenses to produce outstanding results. Anamorphic lenses are also supported via third-party adapters with 2 times, one8 times, and 1.3x D-squeeze support. Other outstanding features offered by the EOS R5C are dual media card slots, providing sophisticated simultaneous recording options where different formats, resolutions, and bit depths can be recorded to each card to support a variety of professional workflows. HDR support via PQ and HLG, as well as Canalog 3, are available in the EOS R5C to achieve exceptional... So no Canalog 2, but that is not that bad in my personal opinion. Um, Canalog 3 gives you plenty of dynamic range anyway, and it's the same sensor, so... ...shooting in low-light environments 
an extensive range of professional filmmaking tools, such as Waveform Monitor for analyzing the brightness of an image, and False Color for visually representing exposure, are featured in the EOS R5C, as well as True 24P DCI recording, 180 degree shutter angle, look file support for importing 3D LUTs, and timecode in and out. The EOS R5C merges the worlds of Cinema EOS and the EOS R system into one, offering compatibility with an extensive range of professional filmmaking, photography, and virtual reality applications for both smartphones. Now, Tony Northrup mentioned that for virtual reality, it's probably its most important reason it exists. Editing metadata, an image.canon for cloud storage services, and much more. The Canon EOS R5C is a powerful hybrid camera designed to be that one tool for any situation. With its outstanding video functionality, combined with extensive photography capabilities, the EOS R5C is a camera that is ready for anything. Please visit the Canon webpage or your local dealer for more information on the Canon EOS R5C. Also, make sure you follow our social media channels so that you don't miss out on more exciting EOS R5C content. We wish you all the very best and thank you for watching. There you go. So that's it. That is what you get from Canon R5C. And there you have it. R5C announced it in that trailer that they had. They didn't exactly mention the... Uh, the R5C's price, but the R5C's price is very important to highlight at just $4,500. When compared to the R5, which is around 3,900 US dollars, these are all in US dollars, it really is a camera that's priced to be really competitive, almost like saying, okay, R5, we, we get it. We kind of messed up on a few features. Here's the R5C, it's fixed. It's two years later, it's shipping in March, actually, from what I believe. And I see no reason to get the R5, spend a little bit more money and get the R5C um, if you really, truly want that hybrid experience. And because of the codex, because of the um, 8K raw recording capabilities internally versus externally when compared to the competition, it really is next level. And if I were to choose between the A7S III or the R5, well, it's no question at this point, the R5C seems to be the camera of choice. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you for joining me on this live stream. It's been pretty, pretty hectic morning. I get up and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's out. But I wanna hear what you guys think um, in the comments down below, of course. And thank you, John Drummond, for joining me live as well and everyone else watching. Canon R5C, it's out. Let's see what happens going forward with uh, all the reviews. And I'll review the camera if and when I get my hands on it. Okay, as always, thank you. And you can make my day if you subscribe today. Magnus, and I'm out. See you guys later.